What's going on, guys? This is David. Welcome back to the channel. As always, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. As always, I am not a financial advisor. Always do your own research. Always do your own research. Um, but hey, we're going to jump right into it. This video, you know, for those that don't know, this is my uh, weekly update of my ETF portfolio. This portfolio is all ETFs um, that I, you know, I, I wanted to start a portfolio that was nothing but ETFs. And one of the rules is I, I could not have these ETFs in any other portfolio. So you don't see the VOO, you don't see the VTI, you don't see the SCHD, some of the more popular ETFs that you may have in, in different portfolios. And I actually have all of those um uh, positions in another, you know, in different portfolios. So it's not that I don't believe in those, but I just want to try something different, do something a little different with this portfolio and give you guys an update and, you know, just show you how we're going to build this portfolio from scratch to a big time portfolio. We started a portfolio back in April and it's now November and just wanted to uh, keep showing you guys, you know, the progress that's being made with this portfolio so without further ado let's jump right into it and see where we stand and here we are here we are so we're going straight through here uh bito we have 5.523 shares last price 26 dollars 43 cent at the current value of one hundred forty-five dollars and ninety-seven cent, we are up thirty-two point five two percent, with a cost base total of one hundred ten dollars and fifteen cent. If you go back to some of the first videos I did in this series for the ETF tracker, BTO was at the bottom. I had negative return, but one of the reasons I selected this ETF is because I believe in Bitcoin. And I knew sooner or later, Bitcoin is going to take off. And that's what's been going on. And this has kind of been the driver of this portfolio. And that's why I put a lot of focus in the beginning of investing into this position. Even though this is a small account, we just get, got it started. But I wanted to make sure I racked up some shares of BITO while it was while I had negative return. So, right, we buy low, we sell high, right? Uh, in this case, we're not selling anytime soon. I don't believe we're going to be holding on for a while. But on to the next XLK, I have 0.395 shares. Last price $233.48. Current value $92.22. We are up 12.23% with a cost base total of $82.17. VUG, I have 0.152 shares. Last price $403.95. Uh, current value is $61.40. We are up 10.63%. Last, I mean, a cost base total of $55.50. Uh, VYM, we have 0.519 shares. Last price, $132.50. Current value, $68.76. We are up 9.62% with a cost base total of $62.73. D Grow, we have 1.234 shares. Last price, $63.77. We have a current value of $78.69. We are up 8.58% with a cost base total of $72.47. SPYG, we have 0.91 shares. Last price, $86.30. Current value, $78.53. We are up 6.87%. A cost base total of $73.48. Uh, SPYI, we have 2.959 shares. Last price, $51.77. We are up, I'm sorry, the current value is $153.18. We are up 3.31% with a cost base total of $148.27. GPIQ, we have 0.696 shares. Last price, $48.85. Have a current value of $33.99. We are up 1.91% with a cost base total of 
Last but not least, SOXX, we have 0.366 shares. Last price, $216.08. Our current value is $79.08. We are down 1.68% with a cost base total of $80.43. So there you have it. SOXX is our semiconductor. ETF is bringing up the rear. Uh, but, you know, I have confidence over time that it's going to work itself out. So, I, you know, that started off as one of my stronger positions, but uh, it has it has uh, decreased a little bit over time, but it's okay. So our current value of this portfolio is eight hundred two dollars and six cent. We are up ten point two zero percent in this portfolio, which is up from our previous uh, from the previous video where we were up seven point nine nine percent. So we have seen a major increase. Like I said, BITO is driving that increase right now, and I'm not mad at it. You know, that's why I invested it because I invested in it and I believe in it. But XLK is doing well, which is a, you know, it follows the, uh, it's an ETF that follows the NASDAQ. Uh, or it's a, I shouldn't say NASDAQ, it's a technology ETF, technology ETF. So, uh, but XLK is doing well. This week we made purchases into VUG and VYM. Uh, was this week 25, I believe? So $25 was invested in this account. We split that up between VUG and VYM. And next week, we'll have $26 going into the account since it's week 26 of the challenge. And we'll split those up between two uh, investments. I haven't decided which ones that we're going to purchase right now. But overall, portfolio is doing well. Like I said, we just opened it up in April. We are up 10% on this portfolio. Of course, it's going to fluctuate up and down over time. That's part of the game. That's just how investing goes. But to be up in 10 to be up 10 percent in what six months i'll take that i'll take that for sure um but like i said this is just the, the ground level stages of this portfolio this is a small portfolio but we're going to build it up and you know see how it progresses over time and if we decide to um i probably i won't put any more etfs into the portfolio unless i take some out you know this is pretty much the max amount of positions that I want to have in a particular portfolio. Um, you know, I can always downsize, but right now I'm just, you know, um, rolling with what, what you see here and we'll go from there. But I'm pretty pleased at what um, has transpired so far in this portfolio. BITO, SPYI, and GPIQ pays a monthly dividend so you also have monthly dividend income and i believe the others pay quarterly if i'm not mistaken uh, but i know there's three that pay every single month a dividend so that's also a plus for the portfolio but hey that's just a recap of uh, what you see here leave me some feedback and let me know what you guys think do you have an all etf portfolio do you invest in etfs or do you prefer stocks or do you don't prefer stocks and just prefer etfs you know let me know your feedback in the um, comments i really appreciate it but until next time remember to like share subscribe hit that notification bell and you know as always i'm not a financial advisor and always invest in yourself find the extra five ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty dollars and invest that in yourself that's what i'm doing here when you know you see me talking about stocks when i'm investing in my portfolio it's just another way for me to invest in myself and i hope you guys are doing the same so until next time i will see you guys later